Today I want to share a very special quote and this quote is from Feeling is the Secret from Neville Goddard and it can be found in chapter 1, The Law and its Operation. And I want to share, to be more precise, two quotes with you, not one quote, but two quotes. And then I want to decode this message and I want to show you how I manifest with Neville Goddard's male-female polarity. And of course, I want you to keep in mind that this male-female polarity is not directly, literally describing men and women, but it's more about the energies. It's about the conscious energy and the subconscious energy. So I just want you to keep that in mind before I get any angry emails from women or men who feel disrespected in any way. It's all about the mystical, it's about the energies. And I truly believe that this is one of the best metaphors or the best ways of thinking about it that can then allow you to fully dive into this concept to not only understand it logically, but to also understand understand it emotionally and to then practice it. So here's the first quote from Neville Goddard from The Law and Its Operation, Chapter 1 in Feeling is the Secret. The conscious, objective or male aspect truly is the head and dominates the subconscious, subjective or female aspect. However, this leadership is not that of the tyrant, but of the lover. So, by assuming the feeling that would be yours, where you already in possession of your objective, the subconscious is moved to build the exact likeness of your assumption. Your desires are not subconsciously accepted until you assume the feeling of their reality. For only through feeling is an idea subconsciously accepted, and only through this subconscious acceptance is it ever expressed. And now please allow me to share the second quote from Feeling is the Secret, Chapter 1, The Law and its Operation. Nothing comes from without. All things come from within, from the subconscious. It is impossible for you to see other than the contents of your consciousness. Your world in its every detail is your consciousness objectified. Objective states bear witness of subconscious impressions. A change of impression results in a change of expression. So how do I use these two quotes to manifest with this principle of male-female polarity? That's what I want to share with you right now. And I want you to think about your conscious and your subconscious energy, your male and female energy in this sense. And I want you to allow your conscious mind to fall in love with your subconscious mind and to create this state of being allies instead of being enemies. And this is exactly what Neville Goddard describes by saying it's not in the sense of a tyrant, but in the sense of a lover. So you want, just like a woman and a man who are in a loving relationship, of course, that's also true for couples who have the same gender. I just use this again as Neville Goddard describes it in a mystical sense in a spiritual sense. So please don't take this too personal or too literal. It's just a metaphor to describe the true meaning behind this principle and the application of how you can then use the law of assumption to manifest your dreams. And when it comes to this love affair, this loving relationship, you want your conscious mind and your subconscious mind to be in love. Unfortunately, what most people do when they're embarking on that spiritual journey and they want to manifest their dreams is that their conscious mind and subconscious mind work against each other. And this would be, as Neville Goddard describes it, the tyrant. But you don't want to have this relationship. You want to have the relationship as you've just heard in the quote from Neville Goddard, as a lover. So in other words, when you are, for example, speaking your affirmations and you then say, I'm rich and wealthy, I'm so rich, oh my God, I'm so rich, and you can feel that your conscious mind tells you over and over again, no, you're not, no, you're not, no, you're not, because you don't allow your conscious mind to accept this reality by reaching a new frequency, by reaching a completely new emotional state, then you have to ask yourself, okay, are my conscious mind and subconscious mind working together right now as lovers or against each other in this tyrannical relationship? And the way how you can make your subconscious mind and conscious mind work together is by reaching the emotional state, by reaching for the feeling of the wish fulfilled, because then your conscious mind can be 
convinced by your subconscious mind that this new reality, this expression of yourself is actually the truth. And when your conscious mind is convinced by your subconscious mind, only then can you become that which you want to attract or that which you want to be. And that's why your subconscious mind will build the exact likeness if the feeling of the wish fulfilled is assumed. So it's all about the emotion. And if you don't reach that emotion, because, well, as Dr. Joe Dispenza always says it, you're just not that good yet because you haven't practiced it that much, then of course your conscious mind will block these energies. And whenever you say, I'm in a loving relationship, your conscious mind will say, no, you're not. And whenever you say, I'm rich and wealthy, your conscious mind will say, no, you're not. And that's also why I see affirmations so critical and why I'm all about feeling your affirmations instead of simply speaking them out loud. And remember what Neville Goddard says in this quote, by assuming the feeling of this new reality, the idea can then be subconsciously accepted. So by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled of what you truly want, then the idea can be subconsciously accepted and only then can your conscious mind as a result of this subconscious acceptance accept this new reality and embrace this new reality and then you are on the process towards becoming and this is the beauty of becoming abundant before you actually reach the physical state of financial abundance and this is also the beauty of becoming love and vibrating at the frequency of love and feeling in love with life so that then your loving relationship can find you and I've experienced the exact same principle in my life. When I tuned in to the emotion of love, to the frequency of love, and I fell in love with my life, then boom, that's when I met my girlfriend. Even though I wasn't looking for a relationship that much, I just thought to myself, hey, let's reach the frequency of love. Let's fall in love with life and see what happens. So it's all about the feeling. And this subconscious acceptance leads to the expression of this idea, which then again allows your conscious mind to accept this new state as your reality. Or let's better say this new state of being, this new state of expressing yourself fully. And once your subconscious mind and also your conscious mind are working together and have accepted this reality that you felt, that you repeated over and over again, that you maybe even reached for during a hypnosis session, then your subconscious mind and your conscious mind are working together as a team, as Neville Goddard describes it, as these lovers in this loving relationship. And then what you want to manifest can easily flow to you. Because remember, and now I want to jump to the second quote that I shared with you, all things come from within, from the subconscious. The subconscious then changes the reality that is accepted and embraced by your conscious mind through this expression. And in principle, this expression is the expression of your new reality. And you can express yourself in so many different ways. You can feel yourself in the state of the wish fulfilled. You can do that by feeling your affirmations, not just by mindlessly repeating them. And you can do that by going into hypnosis. And for example, if you want to find out more about the different coaching sessions I offer, I'm not only a certified coach and certified law of attraction coach, but I also have several hypnosis certifications and I've also already helped incredible deliberate creators just like you to create something from nothing to reach the state of the wish fulfilled and to reach the frequency of what they wanted to manifest. And if you want to work with me, you can go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash coaching and then have a look at the different coaching sessions I offer. But yes, the way you express yourself, the way you express your desire, the way you express the feeling of the wish fulfilled can differ from each person. You want to find what works for you and you then want to reach that frequency over and over again until you become it. Until, and I want to repeat it again, until the subconscious then changes the reality that is accepted and embraced by your conscious mind through this expression. And then what you want to manifest can easily flow to you. And right now, you might also want to be interested in finding out more about the 11 Days to Manifestation Mastery program. 
which is a program that I specifically created for you so that you can master every aspect of the law of attraction and the law of assumption so that you can manifest your dreams in just 11 days. And each of the modules contains a hypnosis, practical exercises, and a very detailed lecture. So you might want to find out more about it by going to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash mastery. That's affirmationtomanifestation.com slash mastery. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please send out some love to the YouTube universe by giving this video a big, big thumbs up. And I would also appreciate it if you would leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you.